Hello and welcome to Hackista TV. Do you like to have a portable hacking device for free? If you have an old Android phone like this, let me show you how to convert it to a true hacker phone. Now the first thing that you need to do is choose a phone. Now it is true that you can install Kali NetHunter on any Android phone even if it's not rooted. The problem is that there's a difference on the functionalities that you will get if you are not using a custom kernel on your phone. And that is the reason why I advise you to choose from the list that is listed on the Kali mobile website. If this is your first time installing a custom ROM on an Android phone, I would advise to choose something cheap like the one I'm using, which is a Nexus 5. I will not show here how to unlock a bootloader or root the phone because there are different methods of doing that for different phones. And I'll just link some, some good videos down below. Now the first thing that you need to install is this, BC Box, okay? Simple way to understand what it does is that it helps any rooted application to run Linux command on your phone. And most of the Kali NetHunter application needs root access and that's the reason why you will be needing it. Now, step two is to download and transfer the Kali NetHunter image to your local phone storage. Now, the next thing that we need to do is go to recovery mode. So turn off our phone. Oops, turn it off. Okay, now for most Android phone to go to recovery mode is that you need to press the power button and the volume down button simultaneously like this. And if you have your bootloader unlocked, using the volume up or down, you can navigate recovery mode and press the power button to go inside it. And it will go to recovery mode. Just wait for it. Okay, so this is what the recovery mode looks like. Now, the next thing that you need to do is click install. Now, on here, just browse the NetHunter image that you have. Click it. And swipe to confirm. And we need to wait. Now, some it will take some time. Um, around 25 to 30 minutes so you need to wait and be sure that your battery level or is above 80 percent or it is currently plugged in okay so just let it sit there and we have to wait for it to finish okay now that it has finished let's just swipe to unlock and this is how the installation looks like when it is done. The next thing you need to do is to click the reboot system. Okay, and just wait. Most of the time, it will take a few minutes, around 10 to 20 minutes also, to restart with the Kali Net Hunter custom ROM on top of the Android phone. But as you can see, this is the splash screen for the Kali Net Hunter if you have successfully installed it on your phone. And this is how it looks like with the Kali Net Hunter wallpaper in here. And congratulations, you're all Android phone is now a portable hacking device. With the exception of rooting the phone, the installation of the Kali Net Hunter is mostly straightforward. In the next few days, I will be showing you what are the things that you can do in your hacker phone. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss this video. And if you like this, be sure to watch my other hacking videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.